So moving right along with our Junkyard LS refresh we've been doing, I last left you off, I replaced the camshaft, the sloppy stage two, as well as upgraded to LS7 lifters. Now today the last thing to do is upgrade our rockers with the trunnion kit. To get started, all we need to do is start by removing the valve covers, followed by the rocker arm assembly. So the reason you're going to want to replace these old trunnions and needle bearings that are in these rocker arms is because after time, the needles will break out of here and get loose in your motor and cause all sorts of damage. So here's looking at the original rocker we took out of here. In this trunnion system, you can see that little flat edge right there. That is a limiter to restrict how much movement this rocker arm actually has. And now that we have more lift and duration on that new camshaft, we're going to need more rotation. So it is important to update these with a better model. To move along with this upgrade, I got this kit right here, which I got from Max Peating Rods. Now this kit has everything you need to do both sides. This is how it comes packaged. It comes with two sets of bearings, upgraded hardware, your circ clips to put them in, and on the bottom of your box you have all your trunnions. So to get started, this is a pretty simple process. All we need to do is press out these old trunnions. I'll be using my, my Harbor Freight press, or you could use an actual vise. Press these out, I'll be using a 3 16 for the bottom side and the smaller 9 16 to push them down from the top. So getting started, there's this flat spot here. You can see that nub there and that nub there. That helps you center on this lower piece. So just make sure you put that side on the lower piece because the top side does not have that. And smaller socket on the top, just it'll push that trunnion right out the bottom of it. So then once this pops out, you're left with all your loose needle bearings, which you did not want to come out rolling around your motor in the first place. This is your empty rocker, which we can replace with the upgraded trunnions. Okay, now it's time to get this thing assembled. You see I have my two bearings, the trunnion itself, and these bearings are, again, they're needle bearings and they're encapsulated in there and it has this plastic cap in the center to keep them from getting lost on you. So to get moving, the first thing I'm gonna do is put this in the press. We'll press in the first side and then we can come back in and drop in the trunnion and press in the following bearing. Now that we have that first bearing pressed in there and we still have that cap in there, we're gonna put a little bit of assembly lube on the actual trunnion itself. And I'm gonna use the trunnion to push that cap through, that way we're not losing any bearings. Again, some assembly lube down on the top side. Same bearing and casing with the cap. We'll push it right on there, it pushes the cap out. All my bearings are still in here, we can press this down now. So the trunnion kit itself comes with this little washer right here, which is the perfect size. It fits right over the trunnion. Put your socket over here, and now you're ready to push that thing right into the rocker. So the circ clip revision that this has, you can see the groove right here. What that does is when you put this circ clip on here, it keeps these bearings from being able to work their way out and get into your motor. So it's just another way of keeping the actual bearings captured in the rocker. And we can move on and do the other 15 of them. Both sets completely put together. Things looking smooth. Now we can get them reinstalled on the motor. So there you have it. Another job is complete on the Junkyard LS build. 
So additionally, I think the, the kit I got from Max Speeding Rods was an excellent quality kit. Everything went together really well. So check out the link below for a product description, as well as enter code SCANTRON and get an extra 10% off. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.